Hi, I'm Russ with Delaney Drafting and Design. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to 3D scan a large object with the Einscan HX 3D scanner. Now, the purpose of this video is to show you how to scan it in multiple sections and then align them together in one mesh. An object like this, you could probably scan with the Einscan in one shot, but this demonstration is just going to be quickly showing you how to apply this to larger objects. Okay, so in preparation, all that I've done so far is I've taken and placed the marker dots all over this fountain on the surfaces that I want to scan. Now, I just simply was random in placing these on there, and I just want to make sure that we can capture like at least three of these in each frame of view of the scanner. So, as a brief overview, what we're going to do is we're first going to scan the whole fountain just for the position of all these target markers. We're not going to scan any of the geometry at that point. Once we have that marker file, we're going to open that up and then we're going to scan in different sections, say four or five different sections as different projects and then we're going to align them together. So let's get started. So I'm going to fire up the software here. I'm going to select laser scan. It's initializing. Now we're going to select new project group. And all you have to do is select a project name. I'm just going to call this fountain. And for the new project, they give you uh, selections for a resolution. I'm going to go ahead and leave that at medium detail, which is the default, and hit apply. Okay, so here's our new project, and you can see over here is where it says scan markers. I'm going to select that, and that looks good. So let's come over to the fountain here, and I'm going to get at a good distance here, and I'm going to hit the play button. It says I'm too close, so there, that's a better distance to start at. I'm going to hit the play button again, and now we're scanning. You can see the dots that are being scanned are red, and then as they fill in, you're going to see them go to white. So I'm just going to pass over this. There we go. I have this on a turntable. This is a manual turntable, so that makes it really nice and easy to move this object around as we're scanning it. So I'm just going to keep on doing this until I get all the positions of these markers. You can see them filling in on the screen very nicely there. I think that looks really good. So I'm going to hit the play button again to pause it. I'm going to come back to the software and I'm going to come over here and click markers optimization. Let that process. Great. So there's our markers. I'm going to go here and I'm going to click save your scan. Go back to the same folder and it already calls it scan so I'm just going to go ahead and hit save. Okay so then now what we're going to do is we're going to click on open global markers file. It warns you that you're going to clear everything out, but that's okay. That's what we're going to do right now. We're going to clear it. And then we are going to open that file, scan project one. So there are the markers, and that looks really good. 
So I'm going to go ahead and switch this to scan point cloud. It's switching the mode. And then we're going to go under project group. And under project group, there's a plus sign for new project. I'm going to click on that. And here's our new project. So what I'm going to do now is let's just scan this bottom section here. So I'm going to hit the play button. And it's now giving me a preview. So when I hit it again, we're going to start scanning. And there it is. You can see it filling in on the screen. That's looking good. So I'm just going to spin this around and scan this lower part of the fountain. Okay, that looks good enough. I'm going to hit pause and see what this looks like. This looks very good. I'm going to click on generate point clouds. Okay, so that looks good. What I'm going to do is go back to the project group and I'm going to hit new project. Okay, so now we're just going to move up a little bit higher and scan this region of the fountain. So again, I'm going to hit the play button for a preview. And then one more time to start scanning. Okay, that looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the play button to pause it. We're going to come back to the software now, and we're going to click again on Generate Point Clouds. Okay, that looks good. So let's go ahead back to the project group and scan our next section. I'm going to click New Project again. And let's just scan in the middle now. Same process. This is the preview. We hit it one more time to start scanning. And you see it filling in. I'm not necessarily trying to get a very good quality scan here. I just want to quickly show you how to align these different scans. If you notice too, I am overlapping just a little bit from one scan to the next, and that should help out. Again, I'm not too worried about this little tricky area in here, but it is coming through pretty nicely. Okay, so that's good enough. I'm going to pause it again. Mesh looks good. I'm going to generate point clouds again. Very good. Okay, so let's go back to the project group and we're going to add a new project again. And this time, I'm going to jump up to the top right here and show you something. There's the preview. And now we're scanning.
Okay, so why don't we leave it at that? I'm going to pause it now. And we're going to go back to the software. There's a scan of the top section. I'm going to click Generate Point Clouds again. Okay, so that looks very good here. Let's go ahead and click on Align right now. You're going to see there is a fixed window here. And there's a floated window. And in the bottom is where they show you the result. So first off, I'm going to click By Markers. And then for the fixed window here, I'm going to select Project 2. That was our first scan. And then for the floated window, I'm going to select Project 3. And then I'm simply going to click Apply. You see that it aligned those two very nicely down here. So I'm going to click Next. So there's our mesh so far. I'm going to go back to the floated window here and I'm going to select Project 4. And then down in the bottom here, I'm going to click Apply. And you can see there's the result down here. I'm going to click Next. And then we're going to select Project 5 for the floated window and hit Apply. Okay, very good. So you see why I skipped ahead a little bit because I wanted to show you just in case if you're scanning and you have something like this where there's a blank area. It's here and also down here there's a blank spot. So you don't have to go ahead and start all the way over from the beginning. All you need to do is go back to exit and then add a new project. And then we're going to scan those areas that we missed. And you're going to see how easy it is to put those right back into the mesh. So this is one spot that was missing. And then right down here. So let's go ahead and just scan this portion of the fountain. I'm going to hit the play button. Get my distance and then hit it again. And then now we're scanning. Okay, I think that looks good, so I'm going to hit the play button again to pause it. Let's go back to the software here. I'm going to, just like before, I'm going to click on Generate Point Clouds. Okay, that looks really good. So let's go back here to the Align and do the same thing that we did before. Click By Markers, select Project 2, and then for the floated window, Project 3. Hit Apply. Looks good. So then we hit Next. For the floated window, we're going to select Project 4 and hit Apply. Very good. And then now we're going to hit Next. Same thing, Project 5 for the floated window and click Apply. Very good. So then, we, just like before, we click Next. And then lastly, this is the last scan that we just did, Project 6. So I'm going to click on that. And you see that's the scan of the back side of the fountain we did. And I'm going to click Apply. And then you can see here on the back how that filled in nicely. So you can keep doing that for other areas, like in here, if you wanted to do more scans to fill it in. And that's a really nice feature, not having to go back and rescan the whole item again. So when we're at this point, we click Next. That's the finished result. So then we can go ahead and click Exit. And at this point, of course, like I said, we could continue scanning if we wanted. 
or if you're done with that what you want to do is you want to click mesh model and the mesh gives you different options like unwatertight and watertight and there's a lot of nice settings here for optimization I'm going to go ahead and click unwatertight and leave these default settings here and click apply very good so there is our mesh so what you can do is at this point simply click confirm and then over on the right side here it gives you the option to save your scan so when you click on that it's going to give you a file name of scan if you want you can change that but if you want you can just leave it the same and it gives you the option to save it as an STL file so I'm going to go ahead and click save and it gives you the option here to change the scaling of it if you would like so I'm going to leave that at 100% and hit apply now that's it okay so you can see that procedure is pretty simple to take a large object and scan it in multiple sections and align them together in one all that we did was we scanned all of the markers first and then a different project for each section that we scanned and then we simply align them together all at the end there so thanks for watching the video I hope you found it helpful if you did please like comment and subscribe and one more thing happy 3d scanning